here we continue with the trachea. So the trachea below the cricoid, all of this is trachea, continues all the way down here. The trachea then splits into two tubes because we have two lungs. Each of these two tubes is called the bronchus. So each of these two first splits coming out of the tra trachea, both of these are called primary bronchus. This primary splits, let's just look at it on the left side, this primary splits into these two tubes. Both of these two are now called secondary because they're the second ones that, come, that split off. Each of these two secondaries up here split. These two branches coming out of the secondary are now called tertiary. And bronchioles, can't really see bronchioles are microscopic so you can't really see that from here so it's just primary bronchus secondary bronchus tertiary beyond that you can't really see blood vessel wise the blue ones are known as pulmonary arteries remember arteries transport blood away from the heart the reason why we're going away from the heart and to the lungs is because we need to add oxygen to them, which means the blood in these blood vessels need oxygen, so they're oxygen poor, and that's why it's blue. The red ones are the pulmonary veins. They return the blood back to the heart, and blood going back to the heart from the lungs is now carrying oxygen. And because of this, these pulmonary veins are shown as and then this cutout right here, this cutout known as a notch, this is where the heart primarily swings to, to the left side of the lung. So this notch, because the heart fits in here, is called cardiac notch. And then this muscle, the diaphragm.